I wasn't ready. <sighs> I wasn't <laughs> fucking <laughs> uh, I, It's fine. I was like, wait, I need my emotional support book. <coughs> yes. Hi. One moment as I... Oh, why are my... I found my books having a moment. Sorry. Oh it oh, might not geez. be appropriate oh. for camera. Oh. They were oh, my. really... Oh! oh. Dirty, in, dirty. In flagrante. Oh, maybe. Thank you. That's not just You're a dirty This this uh, this stream is not brought to you by Tome of Beasts, uh, published by uh, what is this? Cobalt Press. Cobalt Press. Will we have Tome of Beasts encounters in here? Because that's that's exciting. Yeah, I, there there might be some. Uh, anyway, so welcome to Rise of Tiamat. This is a fifth edition module uh, that I run. Uh, more or less, uh, out of the Tyranny of the Dragons campaign uh, published by you-know-who. So, with that, well, <coughs> this is where I'm at. It's Monday. My brain is not 100% there. <laughs> oh, God, Which, it's, it's also, uh, it's, it's also, as I was just saying it earlier, it's allergy season. And in the gray, in the uh, the great quotation state of Texas, uh, that means that the trees just decide to uh, bless us. Storm. Yes, Run everyone, the, the pollinate all over you. Yeah, it's all over. It's, it's without you consent. Have, your car. You have, you have a gray car? No, it's yellow. Yeah. You have a blue car? No, it's yellow. <laughs> it is carb. Nope. I don't. How? Wait. I don't think we're admitted in yet. Never no. mind. My my brother uh, actually told me he 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 watched a tree sneeze, like as he ca came back from Mexico. He literally crossed the border into Texas, and there was a tree there. And you just watch as a cloud of pollen just lifts off of the tree. That is something else. That's and something dusts else. everywhere. And I'm like, mm -hmm. delicious. <laughs> but anyway, with that, so make sure you uh you are getting your vitamin C's. You are taking your dirt packs and sh hush. I I saw that look. I see anything. Nicodemus D. Hawkins. Anyway, with that, let's go ahead and get into announcements. Uh, what do we got uh, going on? Jesus. Uh, anything fun? This Thursday, we're going to have a special video that we shot uh, to celebrate International Down Syndrome Day, which is always on... Nice. Uh, oh, World Down Syndrome Day, sorry. Um, uh, March 21st, uh, because of uh, the chromosomes. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, we did a Disney Princess one-shot, and I'll let you know that uh, behind the scenes, gosh dang, I love my sister. But, yeah. But uh, as we say in the South, bless her soul. She got, <laughs> she got really into it, wanted to beat everyone up. I was like, no, no. <laughs> that is true. Like, he wanted to go for the full LARP experience. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there was a scene where I was like, okay, Marlene, your spell affects one of these creatures. No. All of them. Like, all right, bet. <laughs> it's your world. Yeah, man. We're like, oh, no, Gaston is there. I will go fight him. <laughs> she yeah. took your... This affects one, and I'll raise you an AOE attack. <laughs> yeah. I didn't, I didn't know she was playing a meta magic sorcerer. Yeah. She's like, actually, it does work. Actually, uh, if you look at the rules, oh, fuck you. Uh, it works. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so that's uh, that's coming out. Um, so, yay. Go that's fun. It. Yeah. Heck yeah. Any other uh, fun announcements? Uh, the last day of the month, we're going to do a special uh, Nerds one-shot. Um, with Nerds, the candy, uh, at Excalibur. Mm -hmm. So uh, you should come. And everyone else should also come and play. Uh, looking at people here that might also join us. That'll be fun. Hi, I'm, I might be considered a people. I mean, not legally, but, you know. I'm pretty sure cryptids are welcome as well. <laughs> if they were, you wouldn't be putting salt circles around everything. Okay? Look, all I'm saying you is... No, it's a hate crime. If you hear weird noises in your backyard because you live close to the woods and there's a cryptid out there, maybe throw your child outside and they can be raised like the X-Men and they can get power. That's all we want. We just want we just want your kids. 
As you someone don't want who just moved to Appalachia. Yeah, we uh, just want your kids. We'll swap you one to one. We got yeah. this goblin we found in a tree, and we can give you that instead. Same thing. You wouldn't even uh, notice that your kid's gone. Take honestly, the changeling child and run with him. Honestly, it probably wouldn't be any different than Daisy, so. Mm. There is a whole well, this one could talk to you and um, knows how to pick locks, so good oh. luck with that. Good. I'll use it. <laughs> Fair enough. Better, better than dog who thinks is pig. Uh, Pigs are cleaner than Daisy. Pig. You know what? Are, You're not wrong. pretty clean, to be honest. Daisy is a mess. Pigs know how to use litter boxes. Guess what Daisy can't do? She used a box. <laughs> the wrong one. This is honestly actually the first accent she's had in a while. So I'm so glad she ahead. waited till there was carpet. Actually, the bedroom doesn't have carpet in it. Oh, that's good. Our Yours does. Only, our, yeah, y'all's does. Our bedroom is the only bedroom that doesn't have carpet in it. Hooray. I regret it. The toenails are so loud. Click, 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 click. The dog's toenails. Just gonna rub. Clarification. <laughs> no, it's Nick's. It's Nick's. <laughs> Every time he gets up. <laughs> no. Ew. <laughs> All right. So for Ooh. announcements, mm -hmm. Jeremiah, do you have anything that you need to say? Say what you need uh, to say. Say what you need to say, Jeremiah. The sound uh, ready. This, this is going to be a thinker. Okay. Uh, get your pencils and pen ready because I have a question for you. I have a sharpie. If, Go. If you drive a Subaru backwards, what are you? What? I can't spell. You are a bus. Hey. <laughs> okay. Yes. What was that? Um. <laughs> it's a, that it's is a factually correct, yes. <laughs> yeah. um, that is actually correct. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. No, that's it gets one, no matter what. <laughs> dig it. All right. Tip. With that. Let's go ahead and roll through introductions. Hi, I'm Bic. I will be your DM for this evening and the, for the entirety of this apocalypse. So, sorry in advance. Uh, sharing the same plane of existence <laughs> as me is... Hey, Tab, who are you playing? Playing Patient slash Rosemary, the tiefling sorcerer slash ranger. Good job. You did, did it. it. You did it. You, you said it. All right. Next, uh, hey, there's a good boy, Jesus. Hey, I playing? am playing, uh, I was gonna say Jesus, I'm playing Tarsius, he is class good boy, um, yeah. background of good is boy, uh, he's a minotaur, barbarian, fighter, uh, who just wants to try to do what's good out there. Love that. All he can do and can't take that away from him. And for his sister, hey, Jeremiah, who are you playing? I'm playing Cordelia Chaddington, a Medusa fighter, blood hunter, rogue. Every time I introduce myself, I have to look at my character. <laughs> <laughs> he has a list he needs to read from. <laughs> yeah. Next. I can't, th I don't want to think of anything clever for Hawk because we all know how it'll spin. Sydney, who are you playing? I am playing Nicodemus D. Hawkins, the human rune knight paladin of Bahamut. I was going to say, speaking of vitamin D. Okay, there it is. What do you think the D stands for? Deficiency. <laughs> wow! <laughs> you know what, though? Daddy oh. issues. <laughs> Depression. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> everyone has and silence. Last but not least, the babysitter. Hey, Nick, who are you playing? Hello, uh, I'm Nick. I'm going to be playing Milia Mormana. She is a fairy, cleric, and rune knight fighter. Very nice. Okay, let's go ahead and roll that bean footage. All right, and as a roll.
with any of us. You you don't. You don't. Oh no. no. Okay. Oh. Mike's officially uh, hot. Looks now. like uh, looks like the government finally cracking down on Sydney. Sorry. <laughs> there was it's been a long time coming. Let's be real. <laughs> They're like, we know what you listen to at work. We're 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 coming for you. Audio books. The, yeah. the timing of that one. That's funny. Why do They're I like, you listen gonna... to too many fantasy romance books at work. Red mm-hmm. smut. Mm-hmm. I was like, speaking of porn, there's a lot of bots on Twitch now. I just looked at all my notes. <laughs> yeah. I'm, like, uh, I'm like, are you a sexy single in your area? I don't know, am I? I may I may be sexy, but I'm certainly not single. I am a package deal. Yeah. I, I look through the things and I'm like, are you a Wherever. bot? Are you a bot? And how <laughs> is it that it's always the same bots? If you're looking um, for a good time with me, uh, can my grandma come? Oh god. Not <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and do recap. Yes. I apologize <laughs> to anyone that has to put up with that. My bad. <laughs> so short answer, yes. Yeah. <laughs> like my apo- just apologies in advance if you just know me. So, recap. The sun is eclipsed. And Waterdeep is now under siege. I'm just going to read the same one that I wrote last time because it's good. And I'm going to just riff off of this one because, you know. All right. So you had all just returned from Termish. You all faced a deadly blue dragon. You faced the horrors within Zonthal Tower. And you had traversed uh, the realm in search of the blue dragon mask, hoping to keep it from Tiamat and her forces so that she may not rise and lay waste to the physical realm as we know it. As the Cult of the Dragon is currently gunning to break their dragon goddess free from her chains in the Nine Hells. And they're doing everything they possibly can to amass her an army, amass her a horde that is going to be worthy enough for the dragon goddess. And they are looking and willing to do anything to get this all done. So, with that, you guys are currently in the midst of a water deep siege. You had taken the Blue Dragon Mask to the Dragon Council in hopes that they could keep it safe and, you know, until things bl- uh, blowed over from the winter solstice, as that is the chosen date of her arrival. But it was at the Dragon Council meeting that Cormoranth, one of her top generals, a ancient red dragon that has quite an interesting lineage, um, showed up. Uh, he showed up, he enacted the Primal Law, which is a law known amongst dragons as you're, to the, the skinny of it is, you're a bitch if you don't fight me. You are not worthy to be a dragon if you don't challenge me. And dragons known for their pride in being dragons. The king, uh, the ancient gold dragon Protanther, the king of the Metallics, conceded to the fight and lost. And so with that, Cormoranth is going is on the hunt now. He has brought forces to Waterdeep as Draconic Abominations, Abishai from the Plain of Avernus, and now even full-on dragons are crawling through the city as you guys are navigating to try to get your way back to uh, your Uncle West's tavern, the, uh, the Burning Boar. Patience, you were at the guardhouse with your grandfather and your father when the initial attack struck. You were the one holding the blue dragon mask. And one of the last sights you had of Cormoranth was his massive red body flying over the city, cresting up into the eclipse, and then shrinking down into that into a form of a mere human. And then dropping into the city on the hunt. Ass. Look, if Mads Mikkelsen was hunting me, I'd be a little scared and just saying. <laughs> that stranding's a fun game, y'all. So with that <laughs> You guys are currently on the run. Hawk, you met Miria, who is a 
friend of a friend, we'll say. To stranger. Well, friend is a interesting word choice. <laughs> an associate. Uh, uh, a body who happened to be adjacent to him in a room. You know. A friend in stranger's eyes. And a means to uh, enact favors as Miria is here on a favor from Stranger, but technically from Beerus. <laughs> as one of Stranger's friends had decided to pull a favor in order to get himself out of a favor for Stranger, because nobody wants to be in a favor for Stranger. Not even Stranger wants to be in a favor for Stranger. Have you met me? I'm difficult to work with. Oh, yeah, I know. So I'd work with you. Hit. You went to Donnie's house looking to make sure that he and his wife, Connie, were safe. Also, to make sure the priest Larkspur, who was currently comatose, was also safe. But Donnie brought you sad news as Larkspur is gone. He had fled the city looking to fulfill his promise to his old hometown to burn it to the ground and every corrupt official within it. <laughs> Potentially himself too, but we won't stress the details right now. We've got bigger dragons to fry. <laughs> so, with that, you guys had managed to converge through the chaos. You are making your way to the tavern, and this is where we are bringing you. As let me... Wait, where am I? Here I am. As you guys are running through the streets of Waterdeep, buildings are decimated. Some of the of the of the hello, salut. Of the brick uh, of the brick buildings are completely melted by dragon fire, like turned into molten rock. Fires have erupted everywhere. The streets are cracked from the extreme heat. Any plant life has just been reduced to ash. And I need you guys on the map. That's the most important part. Yes. And I will ask Cordelia, do you still have your uh, dancing sword out? It's sheet right now, but... Okay. And then I'll say uh, at the point of you guys, uh, during you guys running um, for Tarsius, because I believe Tarsius was hit with the enlarge spell, uh, that minute would have been used up. Gotcha. So when I move you on the map, I do need to shrink you. So excuse me one moment. Yep, I lost. Yes, you need to shrink the three bigs. Three bigs. Yeah, excuse me. Soup. Can I have too many advantages going against this dragon? Yeah. This dragon's just gonna get, like... Mollywopped? Yeah, literally mollywopped, like, thrown into a circle as everyone's just, like, decking it left and right. The poor thing. The poor thing. The poor thing? <laughs> the poor thing. <laughs> oh, I... Yeah, I needed to pull up his stats so I can... Get his fate. Where are you? It's that moment where I gotta grab everyone's stats again. There you are. And I have a Cole, Tiefling, Cleric, Vaspideus, and then let me pull up our blacksmith friend. All the stats. Sure. There we are. It's not a red dragon, so someone's completely immune to the damage. Oh, oh, uh, to who? Oh, yeah. Yeah, a certain someone here. Okay, so you guys had you know, following the twist and turns of the city, you eventually make your way down a familiar uh, street as you are <laughs> in, you are, you are along the street where uh, Jakey's Junk Stop as well as Care's Forge are. But the street looks completely different as everything has just been raised over. And the first thing you see is 
Maloon, your uh, Moonstone Dragonborn friend, who is currently tucked into a corner, uh, wand at the ready as he has his hands back trying to sequester uh, three Dragonborn children that are currently cowering behind him. Uh, all of them of varying ages. Um, one of them looks to be, well, difficult to tell for Dragonborn because they age much quicker than most species. One of them looks to be uh, kind of lanky, the, the, uh, a red dragonborn, kind of lanky in their teens, like, like kind of like all limbs, awkward, gangly. Uh, and then the two of them look to be, you know, young children, like maybe like eight, like six to eight years old, like within that ballpark. Little young, like stout babies. So, Cole, where the fuck is your character sheet? There you are. All right, let's be fine. That spell that I was looking for so I could double check. Hello, what's your con is it, da, 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 concentration up to 10 minutes? Yeah, okay, so that spell would have just ended. And goodbye, all right. So you see Maloon in one corner kind of sequestering the children. Um, then you see Care standing full in the in the middle of the road as these hulking draconic beasts start stalking their way forward, brandishing these crude uh, iron weapons. Uh, three of them, these like big, like tall but lean uh, green abishai, and another three, these huge like dreadnought looking creatures. As just uh, cresting over uh, a hill of debris, uh, a toppled church, I would say, uh, this green, uh, uh, this huge green dragon just crawls his way over, kind of like shaking uh, loose any like, like rocks or dust that kind of have been like billowing out from these fallen buildings. As it opens its mouth, hissing, and you see. Uh, green poison gas just curling around its tongue. Great! So, oh, with that, I will give you all a moment to decide what you want to do, and then we'll roll initiative. As Care kind of, like, cracks his neck and kind of, like, loops his, uh, his forge hammer in his hands, as he looks... Relaxed for the most part. <laughs> like his stance is open, his his arms are kind of at his side as he looks to be braced and ready for the fight. So he's just like, "You're not the scariest things I faced. Could be the ugliest." The ugliest is that that's really really reassuring. Really <laughs> <laughs> um. Yes, Tarsius. Uh, gonna look. I have to zoom in differently on the maps here. Um, sure. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Shoot. Uh, uh, we need to take it, the children. Make sure they're okay. Um, we the, the the two at a time. Don't separate too much. Um. Uh. Uh. Dragons have breath. Um. Uh. Okay. This is nerve wracking. <laughs> Just vomit information and then get details wrong and probably like misspeak here and there and like. Uh, say, uh, uh, I just, like, speak too fast to, like, really be understood. But, uh... Um, right. He's just... Be safe. That's what he's trying to say. And you're saying all this to... Um... Maloon? Uh, uh, everyone, but, or... uh, 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 everyone that was here, and, uh... Okay. We need, uh, one of the big things, I guess, is to Hawk. Like, we need to make sure the kids are okay. Um, uh, does Maloon get a, uh, uh, to... to should we escort them somewhere to the uh, guidance, please? Uh, I'm Cordell just gonna, I guess, look at the adult. Malone is the adult, <coughs> is the name, right? Uh, Malone is the adult. Yes, yes, they are. Then I will look at, uh, look, look at uh, all four of them. Really, look at the kids, look at Malone, and tell tell them. I think one of the safest place and the closest. Be my uncle's tavern. 
if we can make it there. And I'll tell them that. Uh, dude, what was my stabber name? Uh, the burning boar. The burning boar. Yeah. Yes. Well, like, uh, go to, go, go to the burning boar. Tell, tell my uncle, uh, Cordelia. Cordelia and Tarsius sent to you for refuge. As Maloon looks, uh, looks to you. Then looks to the uh, to the dragon that looks to be blocking the pass. As they're just like, um, that sounds like a plan, but how do I get past him? Uh, I will unsheath my sword. We'll take care of them. Uh, uh, step forward, kind of scared still, but you know. <laughs> I have a question. Yes. Is this Jakey's junk stop? That is. Oh no. Is it a pile of rubble or is it somehow still standing? It is practically one of the few buildings still standing. Of course it is. I highly suspect. But I uh, got good insurance, what can I say? <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, you gotta really look for the clauses that say <laughs> acts of God, and you gotta like. And like hearing hearing Cordelia tell them that, he'd look at Maloon and be like, "Sneak through Jakey's junk junk stop. We'll hold them. We'll distract these these guys." He he's gonna sit there looking. And he goes, "There's gonna be a back door." Okay, can you at least keep them busy for? I don't know, a minute. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jakey yeah, kind of kicked everyone out and uh, kind of, you know, everything's arcane locked and I'm going to need a minute to get in. Of course he did. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And, you know, if while you're in there, uh, if Jakey is not still in there and there happens to be a sort of dragon slaying or something in there, if you want to toss that outside... Uh, <laughs> if he happened to leave that in there, if I don't think he would have. Given the circumstances, around, like... but uh, at this point, I'm just borrowing it. But yes, distraction. You got it. As Maloon kind of like, you you see their exp their their expression kind of go quiet for a moment as their eyes are searching mentally and they'll say I've made worse deals good luck and yeah Hawk will sit there and he'll, he'll look at them and be like I'd block for you as best we can okay. alright <coughs> is there anything that we're doing before this fight commences cracking your neck and looking at that big ass green dragon going I've seen uglier on fucking backsides of trolls but let's do it if I can bonus action rage I'll do that <laughs> alright patience anything nah. nah nothing she's just looking at it looking at it and just kind of like she might be a scary Oh, of course. Well, if only we knew where your maternal mother figure was. <laughs> so, with that, I'm going to have everyone roll me initiative. Okay. Mm. Please do better than Hawk just did. Everything. Miria did not. I mean, it did a little bit uh, average, a little bit well, uh, sixteen. All right. Time to roll for big, big. Oh my God! All right. Great start. Sounds great. Great success. Yeah, very much. <laughs> wow. Uh huh. That's where we're at. Okay. okay. Let me roll for this guy. 
Cordelia, not surprised. I just want you to know that every time I have to do math, I'm fighting for my fucking life. I feel it. It just means we go first, so we get to go uh, walk there for to be in range of its dragon. Look, <laughs> I would love to give you that. <laughs> but I also know how you guys are. So no. I'm just a baby. <laughs> if I if <laughs> I you are you are baby. You are baby. But you're a big baby that hits very hard. Yeah. I mean just one of you can probably solo the dragon if you really wanted to. Alright, let's see this guy's a Oh Jesus Christ. Alright, that's fun. I like how the mob is rolling better than the dragon. <laughs> Alright. How about the big the big hot man? What what are you rolling? Ooh, look at that. Okay, okay, okay. Pretty good. Alright, uh, Tarsius, did you roll your initiative? Yes, uh, it was a 16, I thought I put it in there. Did it, my bad. It, yeah, it didn't, uh... Nope. Roll 20 did its thing where it panicked because more than one person was putting their thing in. Wait. Roll 20 is not a Tatterick. Patience, do you want to go before me? Or do you have range? Sure. Okay. Ah, Cole. Cole, Cole, Cole. Oh, he, no. He, he has a plus one to his decks. So I know it's not good. No, it's not. Yeah. It is. No? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. He's doing his best. He's doing something, that's for sure. <laughs> He's about something. to pull a paper bag out of his pocket and start the hyperventilating. Okay. Honestly, did I? No, because he still has the Here's the question. Here's the question. Did I? I love the idea of a character using a bag of holding at, for like hyperventilate instead of a paper bag, and people are like, do y'all even know what that is? And they're like, this is my panic bag. All right, we're gonna have to use you. There's nothing in it. I just, <laughs> I just Think need about it. So I can if breathe. they're using the bag of holding to hyperventilate, and then they pop it's... the bag. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna roll with that. All right. Cool. Love that for me. All right. Nice. Uh, well, job, here's the Cole. thing. Whoopsies. Whoop. I hit the wrong button. That was my bad. So, uh, funny. The funny thing is, uh, there was one thing I forgot to do today, and that was write stats for the fucking wizard in this fight. Oh. And I'm just like, you know what? Real quick, let me let me just grab the one wizard stat I do have. And so, like, I whipped him out, and I naturally had to w roll a natural twenty. Crazy. <laughs> Wow. Of course. Oopsie daisies. Fun fact for the uninitiated, my one evocation wizard that I have on hand for stats is uh, a surfer bro, Eric Cocker, named Benson. So that's stats I'm using today. Which, if you're a DM and you're stressed about writing stats, just copyright your own character. Plagiarize your own characters. Who cares? Yeah. You make your team won't know until you tell them. Anyway, so top of the round is Maloon. Fortunately for me. <laughs> but their task right now is to keep the children safe as they are going to kind of like huddle them together and just it's like quickly to the door. Make yourselves as small as you can. Honestly. And so the kids will start one by one uh, running their way over. Yeah. So that is thirty. The tall, gangly one will just kind of like stiffen up. Uh, if a, if if a, a dragonborn had the ability to pout their lips, that's exactly what he's doing. But it's it's seen more so in seeing like the the scales around like his cheeks, like around his nose, and then like the fringes on the back of his head, kind of like. 
not puffing up, but kind of like raising, like hackling almost. But Maloon will just kind of push them along. Maloon. Put him put themselves right in front. And then we are going to be with Hing. All right. As they are going to take their wand and you watch as they kind of like twist it around in like a, a, a cyclical motion and wind kind of like around their uh, around the perimeter of themselves and the kids starts to kind of like pick up as there's like a small mini cyclone around the uh, the dragonborn just to uh, give them at least a little bit of protection as ranged weapon attacks will have disadvantage as we have casted investiture of wind you All right, so that is going on. What is my... All right, so let me put a 15-foot thing around this boy. Or dragon, excuse me. Boop. There we go. All right. As the fires start to kind of... One, the one behind them, like, smothers out completely, but the one that's kind of, like, on the roof of uh, Jakey's Junk Stop starts to kind of be fed upward just a little bit more. All right, next, it is the Abishai's turn. As, let me have them all move at once. So first one... Rush's Care. Second one... What is your speed? That's your speed, okay. All right, all right. I need, okay. This one is going to kind of fly forward, kind of hovering on their wings, and they are going to look at... Let me make sure I have the right range. Did you know that DMs have to know what all spells do at all times and of, of everything? It's in the because you have to. Yeah, got you. You have to. Like I, I want. You know what I want? I want a Rolodex of spells on my desk so I can just flip through it. <laughs> That'd be such a great use. <laughs> like I want to use this one. All right. So, eeny meeny miny, Cordelia. I'm going to need you to make me a. There's a word I'm looking for. I believe it is. Hold on. These creatures within 10 foot. Oh, excuse me. I need everyone within a 10 foot radius of Cordelia. Mm. So that. A lot of people. Puts you like that. Oh, that's fun. Okay, so. I'm going to rule it as yes, because it's within your square. So, yes. So, yeah. So, Cordelia, Hawk, Cole, Midia, and Patience. She, uh, this, this fellow is casting Confusion on you. Is so, that a wisdom save? Uh, yes, that is a wisdom saving throw. Yes, please. Yay. I know. Six. Oops, Six. 16? All right. 16 is a fail. 19. 19 is a pass. 10 is a fail. What do we get, Patience? That is a pass. Cole, okay. God. Oh, yeah. I should roll for Cole. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> like oh, oh buddy. Let's see what you Two roll. Two clerics get knocked out from this. Oh, no. That'd be such an... Wow, no. Cole. You rolled a natural one. God, 
buddy. Oh no. She rolled a hey, natural I one. Hey, I this person, Vic. Uh huh. What'd you roll? No, no. What's up? What's up? What's up? Does he have something against that? That's something I should know. Okay. But that is your ruling. That is my ruling. You know what? He never used it in his playthrough. We might as well. So that means that I get to... Save throw. Yep, yeah, I spend one luck point to roll an additional d20. So I will, I will allow this. That's better. We rolled a natural seven, so an eighteen. We, that's we'll we'll roll we'll roll with that. Okay. So it'll be Huck and Media. Yeah. Because Cordelia rolled a nineteen, and then Patience is no. a twenty-two. Yes. Both All right. Turn giants. So, you guys are confused, which means that uh, da, 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 da. spell assault and twist creatures' minds, spawning delusions, provoking uncontrolled action. So you guys uh, prepare yourselves for a fight, and you watch as this Abishai points their um, their longsword at you, and you feel your mind start to like shift and twist and then suddenly the shadows are growing longer the lights are blinking in and out and you can't seem to grasp a single cognitive thought in your mind so you can't take any reactions and you have to roll a d10 at the start of each of your turns to determine what's going to happen and so with that uh Let's see, let me roll through the list real quick. Da, 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 da. But at the end of your turn, you can make a wisdom saving throw to rid yourself of this effect. So, so until then, you can't make any reactions. All right. Then this fellow. Okay, flies up here. Put you right there. Let me roll the attacks for these guys, and we'll see what happens. First attack, swing and a miss. Second attack, swing and a miss. All right. Harry's hard to hit. He is very hard to hit. So <laughs> you see, as they're swinging down, like they're trying to swing their long swords in to like wound care, but. You see it as it kind of like glances. He's like expertly like blocking it, moving, and it's quite impressive to watch, you know, such a high level adventurer work. Right. Cordelia, it's your turn. Oh. Uh, this radius is going to move around me, just so you know. But I'm going to move okay. forward. Okay. Yeah, let me, let me get that out of the way. So that was just for me to see who's. There we are. Thirty, right there. 30 moving this way. Um, this does this affect me? The sphere as a so that sphere. All right, so you would have to make a Constitution saving throw. It's because as you see it, I I will say that as you're approaching it you will see that this is a strong wind that is cycling around them and moving through it would be difficult i will say as you can see bits of debris and shrapnel also getting whipped yeah. into the wind if i see that i'll just go here okay sounds good just move around it um hmm. oh exactly Oh no. Okay. Um I'm telling this guy right here. Telling this guy run away and never come back. Casting suggestion as my innate skill. Oh, alright. 
snakes coming out and I'm telling, looking him in the eye and telling them, uh, run away, they will come back. Try to level the play field here. <laughs> okay. Uh, wisdom saving throw 16. Hopefully that works. <laughs> saving throw 16. I have Let's one cast see. of this. <laughs> Wisdom does not seem to be your strong suit, but let's see. And what'd you say that save was? Wisdom, 16. He just rolled a 16. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, did it work? I tried. <laughs> well, I will ask, what language did you speak this in? Draconic. Alright. So... You say you you say these words to it in hopes to incite some fear to have them retreat, but you'll watch as um, as it kind of like dances back, uh, kind of avoiding uh, one of Care's uh, retaliations. It turns its head at you, cocking to the side, and you watch as its uh, as its muzzle just kind of like wrinkles in as it hisses at you. Anything else? I um I will bonus action dash to move forward just around here just to be next to the be helpful I guess. Okay. I'll end my turn there. Be helpful. <laughs> Alrighty. So with that, it is now Kev's turn. As he is gonna kind of Look to see where you've placed yourself. Looked around him. It's just like, it's getting a little cramped in here. <laughs> and he will go ahead. He's going to make some swings at these guys just to keep it simple. Where is your thing? Damn it. How many hits do you get? I'm trying to find that. Why me? <laughs> no, that's not how that works. <laughs> minimal, yeah, because he's a fighter, so that'd be three, correct? I believe so. Okay, now well, I'll roll with that. Let's do that. I guess it depends on level. One, two, three. If it's a pure fighter. Yeah, I mean he is he is a fighter, so yeah, I believe it would be three. All right. Beesh. What are y'all's AC? Well, two of them hit, so that works. So one for each, we'll do that. No, that's the wrong die. That made life easy. Okay. Alright, so each get bonked with equal amounts of damage, because that's funny how that rolled. And that is what we will do for now, because now the dreadnoughts are going to start moving in. Alright. One for Cordelia. You. And then... What is your... Oh, okay. Alright, he's gonna try to make his way in over here. Okay. So he kind of lifts off the ground and starts beating these massive strong wings. Um... As he flies his way, go, uh, going into the cyclone, and I'm going to need to roll his con save. So that is... That's not going to work for you, bro. You didn't meet the save. So you're going to start taking some bludgeoning damage. Oopsie doopsie. Better. 
does that much damage. What happens when you fail? And then he immediately gets thrown back out. As for the next two Dreadnoughts, we're going to do... Alright, start with Cordelia as he is going to take... As he unsheaths these two huge serrated swords. And he's going to start swinging at you. I'm not me. I got a buckler and a rapier. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so he's going to swing twice with his sword, and then once with his tail. She's got a buckler and a dream. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. I have a small shield and a toothpick. <laughs> okay. So does a 25 hit for the first one? Yes. <laughs> okay, I am going to assume a 9 does not hit on the next one. No. <laughs> and then a 14. No. Okay, so that first attack... Will catch you by surprise as he moves in almost impossibly fast. You're like, there's no way a creature that big should move this fast. Mm -hmm. As he swings in and you feel the cut of this jagged sword glance into your side. And just as he's coming in for the second swing, you're thinking that will not happen twice. As you go in, block once with your buckler, and then you dodge as this heavy tail comes down, slamming into the space where you once were. So let me roll your damage. So that is going to be... So that'll be 19 points of slashing damage. Eesh. Yeah. Oh, look at the little boy. <laughs> All right. Glad that only got hit once. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let me roll for the next guy as he's swinging in. Oh, man. That care. Wow, you rolled like ass, dude. We're just gonna say that care is untouchable at this point because this guy did not roll above a ten. Perfect. He's too hot. Okay, Tarsius. Okay. You're up. Uh, you're 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 gets me there. Nice. All my movements. Uh, I wish you I did it. Little, I wish I could get a little bit closer, but, uh, that's, that's it. Okay. Um. It's okay, I, you just gotta move through the smaller one. That's how this works. Yeah, let's, go, let's go to the small one, and then, and then we can go to the bigger one. Okay, um, I'm gonna bonus action rage. All right, uh, and then I'm going to uh, do uh, this thing called swing and attack, and then for the fun of it, the second one I'm gonna great weapon master it. Okay, S go ahead. Your second. Okay. It's another baby. They're feeling fucking me. bullshit on the stick. Oh no! That's a one on uh, the great weapon master. Sheesh. No. No fucking. Yes. Two net ones. I'm oh, so sorry. Oh no! Nice. Oh, nice deal. Oh. Yeah, that that one wasn't hey, nice deal. You got you, at least you got your bad rolls out on the first turn. Go away. Bad, <laughs> bad dice. Bad dice. <laughs> bad dice into yeah. the gelatinous cube. You go. Yeah. Uh, I mean, fuck this. That's... that's it. That's that's me. I know. A great introduction. Beef. <laughs> like I'm going to make such an impression. And, oh, oh, I miss. Beefs it. And I just, I get to imagine him like swinging way too hard, and just like the momentum keeps going, and he just like whoop, whoop. Don't know. Is it a hate crime if uh, when Tarsius messes up, we say that he beefs it? <laughs> <laughs> I stand in my turn. <laughs> All right, well, you'll get him next time. I believe in you. Yep, next time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank go. you. All right, patience. I'm gonna have Bren go first. Oh, the little I was gonna say I was gonna say age before beauty, but he's the baby. The most he's just a baby. The, the most powerful dragon in this map right now. How fast? I'm sorry. <laughs> he can do what now? 
How fast is this boy moving? Holy shit! I was gonna double, uh, move. Uh, he was need for speed. <laughs> <laughs> that baby moving like a whole monitor lizard. And he's just gonna plop himself right behind um, uh, Care. But because Care and Cordelia and Tarsius are pretty much within 10 feet of him, y'all basically get an extra d6 of uh, necrotic damage that you can do. So that little aura is going off around him. Um, but for whatever reason, he need me, miny. This Abishai right here, he's just kind of looking over. Oh, hey, you can actually reach that Abishai. Technically. And we're going to try to fight. <laughs> exactly like that lizard, yes. I think what I think what would really make make this Twitch stream is if there was a way to broadcast any GIF that we post in our Discord. Some of the memes are very great. Live shit posting. Yeah. He only needed an 18. They rolled a base 17 and then there's a plus three plus proficiency bonus. So we bit the ever loving shit out of him. Like, yeah, went for the angle like he always did. Sure. Gren Gren's like trying to just get right through the tendon, like full, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. fully, fully. Full ankle biter mode. Like, what ankle? It was how many points of piercing? Nine points of piercing damage. Hey, that's damage. And uh, again, everybody within uh, range that's up there uh, gets the infused strike. Oh, um, which range? Uh, uh, Cordelia uh, and Tarsius. What's the, what's the radius? Ooh. Radius of 10 feet. Alright, let me put that in. Excuse me, 30 feet. Whoa. We this get what? Saying. So, basically, there you, go. you target, uh, um, because Red is nearby, you get an extra D6 damage of, uh, necrotic. Okay. Well, that. So, there we go. I love how you made it, like, a dark skull. Well, yeah, of course. Like, that's just the evil. That's just his e that's his evil aura, actually. Patience, as much yes. as he's gonna give heart attack. Oh, sorry. Patience, it is your turn. That means that's that's right, never mind. I'm thinking of the other two. Go ahead. At least I reminded myself. <laughs> All right. Yes, there's. She's looking at like okay, Abishai, giant, scary-looking dragon, mutant thing, and then her eyes go to the dragon. It's like, All right. It's like concern that she has right now. Yeah. What are we doing, Patience? Let's see if she can actually reach it now. Yeah! Just exactly! What are we doing, Patience? Bell. <coughs> I'm your DM, you're legally obligated to tell You're me. legally obligated. <laughs> it was in the contract. <laughs> You guys got a contract? Wait, there was a contract? Huh? Shh. First one's free. <laughs> How much is he paying y'all? Alright. Sorcery points to cast it as a heightened spell. 
so you're forced to roll with a disadvantage. Ooh. Okay. That's fair enough. DC 18, and you said dexterity save? Okay. You're right, I have to roll with disadvantage. Did I miss the opportunity to say potted plant? <laughs> you did. All right. We did roll a 15, but we do have legendary resistance. So the heightened spell does it. So it oh, you only allows him to roll with disadvantage. So even if he fails, he can still choose to succeed. Is the thing. Cuz that's how that is exactly how that works. If the dragon sails a saving throw, it can choose to succeed. Like a bitch. Like a bitch, but that is one out of three legendary you, resistances you down. So out of the dragon, which is you dope. did, you did force that. That is important. Yes, because now it may not be able to just decide it's going to succeed on anything. No, you're good. And that's the half. Okay. through everything because dragons have a lot of shit. Okay. So. Alright, so you level a look at that dragon and you muster all of your arcanic energy as you infuse the spell to like to be as potent as possible to think that there's no possible way that this dragon can you know get away from it and you fire it into the vicinity of this dragon you watch as flames erupt around this um giant creature and as there's a moment where you're like yes got him but you see the flames part as the dragon kind of snuffs a cloud of poison from his nostrils. And he just kind of like takes a step through the fire. You see singe marks across his scales, but it doesn't look like it affected in the way you wanted it to. As this green dragon lowers his head and you can see a grin pull across his mouth. Anything else? Also, did you roll your sorcery? Your... Yeah, I did. I got three. Okay. Oh. Darn. Potted plant. Okay. Okay. Oh, hi, Bubba. Okay, go ahead and roll me your attack. Don't forget to roll your wild magic. <laughs> Twenty-one does hit. Okay, roll me your damage. Sixteen. 
points of necrotic. All right. Easy <laughs> math for me. That's good to know. That's fair. So right as your turn ends. Uh, all right. You see as this uh, dragon's, like, these putrid yellow eyes search the battlefield. And you watch as its nose kind of snuffles the air. Like, taking a long uh, serpentine-like tongue, it tastes the air for a moment. Then it sighs. Just... I sense draconic magic nearby. And then it looks right at you, Patience. So, now it is the dragon's turn. As we are going to step over the flames. And... You also not do that if you wanted to. <laughs> Thing. Unfortunately, we're going to do the thing we're going to do. <laughs> as you watch, as it kind of like snakes its head back, like almost like like poises like a snake about to strike, making a little S shape. As you watch, uh, poison kind of like drip from its mouth. And it exhales a cloud around you guys. As it is exhaling a 60 foot cone. So that means. Well, darn patience, you're just outside it. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that's going to hit all you guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately. So I'm going to need some uh, constitution saving throws. Yeah, except, exactly. from yeah. Yeah. except from Cordelia. Except from Cordelia. Not even going to let Jeremiah say it. No, I won't give him the satisfaction. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, baby boy, I understand. Oh. Is he telling you he needs to go out east? Oh, look at him. Oh, look at that toasted bun. Yes. Oh. Oh. Toasted bun. Alright, so Tarsius, uh, I'm gonna need... A what? A 25 con save. That's fantastic, that's a save. I'm gonna need one for Gren. Let me roll one for care. He got a natural 20. Doubt. You can't. He's the strongest dragon in this map right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of sad. That, <laughs> that dragon built Ford tough, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the old day, they used to have level adjustments. That's what Gren needs. <laughs> All right, we do con save for care. I'm terribly sorry. He rolled an after one. That's Ooh. about right. Oh god. He inhaled when he should have exhaled. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Although he does have resistance to poison. Oh, see, there's something. That's good. At least there's fire. that. Fire. Yeah, resistance to fire, or immunity to fire, resistance to poison. All right, now I gotta roll for the dreadnoughts, because those guys are definitely not immune. We need care for the red dragon fight. Yeah. <laughs> good luck with that. <laughs> Let's do a fastball special with someone who has giants. Alright, so they also save. So that's good for them. Alright. So, everyone but Care saves. So let me roll the damage. And then do the halvesies. So... Actually, you know what? No, I'll take the medium, because I don't want to roll all the dice. So we are going to... It is 56 for the fail, and it is going to be... 28 for the half. As this heavy green smog just like fills the air. And 
there's a moment where like your lungs kind of burn inhaling it, Tarsius, but you kind of uh, just snort out the fumes and do your best to hold your breath as best as you can. But uh, it's definitely making your tummy upset. <laughs> As he watches, hair kind of like doubles over a minute, just giving a wheeze, and it's just like I forgot how to breathe. <laughs> Dragon casted manual breathing. God damn it! <laughs> so let me make note of that. For... Okay. All right. First of all, I'm going to need this to work for once. Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right, and that is the dragon's turn. Okay, Hawk, I'm going to need you to roll me that d10. Okay. And we're going to see what you do. Nine. You rolled a nine. Okay. You get to move and act normally, so you may proceed with your turn as a normal turn. Wait. As you, there's a moment where you kind of, you're, try, you're trying to grasp your thoughts, and then you just shake it off when you see this rolling cloud of poison just plume into the air. And then there's that uh, moment where you're just like, I need to focus. Nobody's in. Unfortunately. Okay. Now, it's been stated that if you do walk through the cyclone, it is considered difficult terrain, and you will have to make a constitution save. Oh, yeah. We don't. Beat the depths. None of that measuring Poe correctly. He probably saw that other dude, like, and he's like, yeah, I don't want to be that guy. You're also watching as the cloud of poison circumvents around the cyclone. Oh, great. That's bad. Um. He's gonna avoid it. Does the poison that that dragon breathed linger, or is it gone? So it kind of disperses after, you know, a bit because there's no note that says that it does. Okay. I'd argue oh. that it should, but who Fair. has time to build those <laughs> mechanics? Not right um, now, I don't. <laughs> so, 5, 10, 15, 20. One of these days, I'm going to build a better dragon adventure with better mechanics for dragons. It's just not today. <laughs> You'll move here. All right. But I don't think. Do we have another one? He does. Okay. How much reach does that have? Not enough. Um. What? It's two-handed. Oh yeah. You know. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. So. We're just gonna take out the, uh, cause we had two hand axes and I'm sure he didn't pick the first one up after he threw it at the little thing early, uh, earlier. Uh, but he is going to take out the second one since he can't quite reach anything and give it a nice chuck. All right, go ahead. Um, where are we chucking it? We can throw that up to say, up <coughs> 60 feet. No. How problematic are we feeling? Be all the problem. How problematic do we feel? Fuck it. We're gonna do it. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna chuck it at the dragon. Go ahead. Chuck the hand axe at the dragon. That is a uh, a natural twenty for a twenty nine. <laughs> That'll hit. 
hit the dragon with the hand axe. Two. Um, that'll do it. That'll do it. Okay. Um. Ah, damn! I should have bonus actioned. Oh well. Um. So, do we double damage or double dice? We double the damage. Okay, so that's going to be 18 points of damage. Okay. Um, I don't have any other way to attack, I don't believe, at this point. Um, no. So, yeah, he'll uh, take... He will, after he does that, like, bonus action giant's might, so he'll get big call that for confusion. We're, we're running yeah. in and we're like, oh shit, wait, I could have. <laughs> so he big. And All right. since he doesn't have anything else that he can throw. Got it. That will be his turn. Already? Oh, I have to make the save, right? Yes, make your wisdom save. Bless, come on, boy. For once. For once. For once. That is a 16. That is a fail. Ugh. He tried. You did your best. That's the best wisdom. You're trying. You, it's like you're trying to brace out. yourself through it, but the brain fog just lingers. Yep. And that right. will be his turn. Media, I'm gonna need you to roll me that d10. Three. Alrighty. You unfortunately will not move or take any actions this turn, as you are pretty much catatonic. 28 for the save, though. That will break you from it, though. Thank God. So. We will go. Yeah, so that'll break you from it. You know, I'll just, I'll just let you have it, because that was a high roll. So if you would like to take your turn, you may take your turn. That way you oh. have a th thing to do. Okay. You've been waiting a while. I mean, I would have waited longer. It's all good. Uh, okay. Well, I'll she's, let you have it. She's gonna kind of shake her head and look around and be like, "Oh, fuck no!" And she's going to move over here. Okay. And let's see how close is that dragon. That's not close enough. Okay. Because I just remembered, anyone that's in that circle, remember you get a necrotic bonus, I believe, from yes. Ren. Whoa. You get a d6 and necrotic. She is going to... She's going to attack the Abishai... Not the Abishai, the... Oh, yeah, Abishai. This guy. Alright, go for it. Uh, but it... 24 for the first hit. 24 will hit. <laughs> 14 damage. And it cannot heal anything until the end of her next turn. Alright. Sounds good. Anything else? Second hit is 25 to hit. That'll do it. Uh, for 10 damage. Okay. Easy math for me. Alright. Anything else? Uh, does anyone look hurt particularly around you will certainly see that Cordelia is bleeding from her side as there is a stain Ooh. of scarlet across her green uh, coat cool so she's going to use a bonus action to just cast healing word on you so, uh, just that would be when you for us. Where is that? <laughs> uh, 10 HP back. Oh, thank you. All right, very nice. And that's what she's got so far. All right. All right, time to go for Cole. We are going to run up real quick behind their child. 
just like, can you please not provoke the dragon? And he's going to <laughs> aim uh, his shot over her head, everyone's heads, and he's going to guiding bolt at the dragon. Nice. Don't, Don't provoke, provoke it! <laughs> <laughs> I imagine as this is going off, like, you know, it's like the Patience is just standing there, her bangs are, like, flying with whatever ferocity this is going. And well, deadpan looking at him, just like, don't provoke it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna hit that. we're gonna hit we're gonna slap it with a fifth level. So let's do that. Oh. Eat Just it. for funsies. Oh, Eat Same him. Energy is uh what was it? They hit Westy Oh my god. I feel like if Care hears Cole starting to cast the guiding bolt, he's going to instinctively drop. drop. Oh yeah. You you kind of like feel that familiar tingle of um, what is it? Uh, the glass Celestial candy. magic. That's the, I could remember. Or uh, radiant magic, thank you. There it went. Yeah, after Cole, like, Super Saiyan Kamehameha beamed the one fucking devil lord out of existence, like, yeah. Kara's like, uh-uh, no. I, uh, not, uh, no, not me. Alright, time to roll for you. Of a boy, what is your spell thing? You call him lover boy? I said baby boy. Oh, I said baby boy, and that'll that that just that's, that's great. I love that that does that. <laughs> so that is does anybody have five? Yeah, five d sixes. One. No, for once, because I'm not. Ro you're not rolling for him. I am, so of course that's not gonna work. Just for funsies, I'll have you roll on the next one. See if I see if it works. Odd. <laughs> Swear to God. I think it's just Tabitha. All right, so that is going to be a nice hefty beam. Of radiant magic that just kind of like arcs over and kind of like pierces into the juncture of the neck and the chest of the dragon as you watch this radiant magic burn across its scales and you see as the dragon kind of like kind of stumbles backwards slightly as he inhales and hisses out You're one of the ones that Cormorinth wanted. No, please. I shall bring you his heart as a gift. Alright. Next is Maloon and the kids, as Maloon is going to book it to the door with the children. And that is when he's going to have to, fortunately. You watch as the wind has to die down. As Maloon takes his wand and he starts working at the lock on the door, as you see these very complex runes and arcanic sigils start to, like, appear in the air. So. See so how all the kids kind of sequestered to the wall where he's just like, don't move, keep your heads down. It'll be okay. All right. So, Abishai's. This one is going to catch wind of that. Haha. <laughs> and start booking it towards the loon. I'm going to roll the AOP for care. Okay, let's roll for bonk. That is a 26. Thank you. <laughs> you said bonk and I'm like, wait, there's a sound for this. There is a sound for that, yes. Okay, so that is... That's a hefty bonk.
I just did that math and then I forgot it suddenly. Oops. I remembered it. What? That dog just ripped a really nasty one. Sorry. R.I.P. Yikes. Oh All right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so he's gonna keep. Oh my God. Yeah, it's a, it was a delay. Oh. I, f I smelled it first because he's pointed at travel. me. Yeah, yeah, he he's pointed at me, so that's why that happened. R. I. P. Guys, nasty. We're being we're Salt. being gassed right now, and so Champ is for immersion. Yeah. Is he poison? A poison cloud's currently taking over this room. That is true. <laughs> You could just turn the fan on. I think yes, that fan's got to actually. Cast gust. <laughs> go away. <laughs> Please go away. All right, I was doing things. Okay, so that I'm doing the moves first. Okay, camp. The other two are pretty locked in. Okay, so let's roll attacks. So let's do. Multi attack. Da, 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 da. Six. I hate that they're different. That's so annoying. All right. So let me roll attacks on. We roll one for Cordelia first, and one for Tarsius, and then I'll roll the one for Maloon. So. All right, so that is well, natural one. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume a 13 does not hit Cordelia. That was the highest he can roll. No. Okay, let me roll the next one for Tarsius. That is also. How did you roll the same fucking thing? Talent. Anyway, Talent. 13 is the highest that wow. that one rolled as well. Yeah, All right, let me roll for Maloon now. If you roll the same, I swear to God. Do it. Do it. Do it, Terry. Unfortunately, we did not. <laughs> Boo. So. So. So first one is going to miss. Second one, however, is going to hit. Which I will say... That is when. So the second one, uh, you watch as the first uh, scrape of his claws rake above the door frame of where Maloon uh, is currently crouched, trying to uh, pick at this arcane lock. And then you watch as this Abishai flips his longsword over his shoulder as he comes to arc down, and it looks like it's about to cleave the back of uh, the back of Maloon's head. But that, I believe. Let me double check. Okay, so that is exactly what's going to happen. But then you watch as this haze of a cloud kind of like brushes over the sword. And you watch as this uh, slash is going to lance up the chest and neck of this uh, dreadnought right here. As Care had just activated his cloud rune to save Maloon. So let me roll the damage for that attack. What the fuck was your damage? 1d8. That's... Who the fuck remembers what long swords do? I don't. D8? Yeah. It's exactly one a D, a D8. Or, or D10 for versatile. Yeah. D10 for versatile. Yeah, but it's he used one arm, one arm so it's a D8. It's so ridiculous that you only have a plus one to that, but sure, I guess. It's like, you know, for a hellish creature, you sure are kind of a bit. <laughs> I'll say because it's from Avernus, and according to some Devil Lords, the, the ones on the Avernus Lair are kind of weak-ass bitches, sorry. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Cordelia, it's your turn. 
Um, yeah, I'm going to do a little ritual. Okay. Um, she will use her bonus action to put her thumb up and her one silver snake will come out and bite the finger. Okay. Bite the finger and when when that happens is some a little bit of electricity happens to her finger and then she'll swipe it on her rapier. Okay. Uh, bonus action, crimson right. <laughs> Very nice. I do take a D4 of damage. Which is a wad <laughs> hey. That's the best so we're on here. That's the best outcome that's in that beautiful. one. And <laughs> um while that's while my while my crimson right is up um, I do an extra D4 of uh, lightning damage. All right. So I am doing that. All right, roll me that attack. Attack to this guy. And that is a 17 plus 9. That is a 26. 26? <laughs> for, uh, which, for which guy? The Abishai or the... No, this guy. Oh, that guy? Yeah, that'll hit. Yeah. Uh, I will double up on that guy. Back him again. That is a, a 17. 17? Damage? Seven. No, so seven. Uh, second attack, 17. Oh, okay. That also does hit, yes. Okay, so I will do my two attacks. On the Give guy. me all that damage. 1d8. 2d8. Uh, Care is an ally. He's next to me. He is technically an ally. That is correct. <laughs> so that's sneak attack. It's 2d6. 2d6. And then 2d4. Okay, I think that's all the dice. I didn't just pour all the dice on the table and then just tell me the number. <laughs> I need calculators. Uh, that will end my turn. So Multiple if you want to go to the next, sure, absolutely, okay. <laughs> I need calculators. All right, so that, that... Next, uh, that will end my turn. Okay, we'll take the opportunity to sidestep, and he's going to also activate his hill giant rune as he's going to become a big boy, and we are going to take our attacks. Quick question uh, on this other big boy. You... Yes. Do you want the the lightning damage separate? No, he doesn't have a thing against that, so you may give it nope. to me all at once. Okay, so all at once. Grace Two and damage. Tatterick at some point. Two damage yeah. with the lightning. Uh, that is 50. It, it was 5-0. 5-0. <laughs> um, I, will, I will calculate her again, because that feels no, no, so no, no, good. No, 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 no. I mean that's what? including the st the st <laughs> because that's uh, the the sneak attack I rolled a twelve, okay, <laughs> and then I rolled a six and a seven on a d eight, okay, okay, and then a three and a one, and my twelve with a uh, a twelve for my what's that called my pluses. And then the yeah, that is fifty. Plus plus five and plus four. Two. Cordelia, how would you dead. like to do this? That is five zero. Cordelia, how would you uh, like to do this? I will scare you first. I will be looking right at the greed dragon while I do this. <laughs> oh okay. Make eye contact. Make it. Weird. Everybody really wants to make eye contact with this dragon. <laughs> two quick, two quick stabby stabs to this, to this guy. Uh, uh, and I'm looking straight at it. All right. And then just, no, I was saving my action search. <laughs> I'm gonna just gonna step forward. Uh, look right here. Okay. All right. And then, Let me roll. That was it. I'm just looking straight at that green dragon. <laughs> Like, like in all honesty, 
Cordelia is right. tempted to run straight to that dragon, but he was like, she's like, that's not. Just a reminder again for that's everybody who's landing attacks, you have a d6 of necrotic too. Oh, that's a plus three necrotic. <laughs> that makes all attack? the difference. That makes all the difference. Okay. For attack. All right. Yeah, the what? Okay, I did roll two and a one on that one. The crock that. All right, so he's dead. Cordelia, you make your finishing blow. And right as that's happening, uh, I'll say everyone that's in the vicinity watches as uh, Care just like swells in size as he hits his uh, hill giant rune. And towering over it with his now much bigger hammer, he looks down, he looks uh, eye to eye with the dreadnought, and he goes, You're in my way. And you watch as he just, like, wails into this guy's cranium until he stops moving. <laughs> Sounds about right. And then just steps over. So we are fine. Put and... ourselves right there. He kind of just casually strolls up to the dragon. And it's just... I know you're not the one that broke my shop, but you're here now, and you're going to answer for it. Also, if you so much has happened to harm these kids, then it's going to be a big problem. <laughs> All right, and that is what he's going to do as this as the green dragon just kind of like sizes him up like this dude's really approaching me doing it. we will do that for that turn so next it is going to be the dreadnoughts the dreadnought. the, the one dreadnought <laughs> as he watches watch two of his buddies just go down and looking between the dragonborn and then to you cordelia he sees you as the much more dangerous quarry so we are flying in swinging our serrated blades so let's make our attacks come at me <laughs> like, i want you to do it i want you to oh fuck okay he, he really you, you said it so Oh, oh, okay. okay, so one's a natural 20. I'm going to tell you that right now. Mm. I take it back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I take right. Maxis? What's that? What? Uh, can I take Maxis, please? <laughs> and can, I, can I please uh, say uh, nuh uh? <laughs> nuh uh. Cloud rune. Cloud rune. Go for it. So right, let me. I'm one of the other fuckers there. So, you, so you're going to cloud rune the natural 20, right? Yeah. Sounds fair. Okay. I will allow that, so that means I get to do less math. So let me calculate these next two attacks. So first one, so... Cordelia says uh, first one's hard. a 19 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Okay, and then the tail attack is going to be... a 21 to hit. That hits. Okay. Cordelia so said, nah, uh, Mary said, Cloud Rune. You're, you're just enabling Cordelia. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Alright, so sword attack first. So that is going to be... It'll be 10 points of slashing damage. And then for the tail, that is going to be... 11 points of bludgeoning. So... You watch as this first swing, it like the shadow of it almost lines up with the center of your skull. And then there's a moment where, uh, which by the way, Miria, where are you directing this attack to? The Abishai, or was it the Abishai that was attacking? Uh, it's this guy. Yeah, at uh, the, the Dreadnought. Abishai. At the Abishai, perfect. All right, I will do that. I have to do math regardless. <laughs> yes. Huh. Fine, I guess I'll do that. Let me roll. All right, so that's going to be 24 points of slashing damage. So that does that. Okay. 
So as the you watch as this uh, as his attack is redirected and slices into the Abishai, and he kind of tilts his head in confusion, but then like swings back, or, thinking that like you blocked him. Then he swings back around, catching you in the side again, like in the other side, with his serrated blade, and you stumble back, trying to like regain your balance. But then he like whips around, and you feel as if you had been hit by a like by a horse as this massive tail whacks into you. And I don't believe. And you are going to need to make me a strength saving throw. Nice. Good thing I'm kind of good at it. That is a dirty 20. That saves. You are not knocked prone. There's a moment where you, like, it hits your middle. You feel the air leave you and you skid back, but you brace yourself and you're able to keep yourself standing. So, that is his turn. Tyrus, you just watched this guy wail on your sister. Okay. <gasps> With the children. <laughs> um, I'm gonna look at her. Do you, do you have this? Uh, I will use my reaction. Uh, Cordelia's gonna say this is nothing. Okay, boy. I'm taking a up. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 2 AFs. 20, 25, 30, 35 gets you there. Alright, which A? Okay, hold up. Uh, this one, one and then this one should get AFs. Okay. A yeah, yeah, yeah. See. Okay, I was like, wait, which two? Hold on. Now let me grab those real quick. So, two pokies from two long swords. So, one is going to be. I mean, 17 hit. That hits. All right, and then next one is going to be 22 to hit. Both those hit. All right, let me roll those d8s real quick. Uh, Dan, do I get flanking for my position, or do you get what? Do I get flanking for the? The loon is technically an ally. That wanted wanted to confirm that a great weapon master. That is that is technically an ally. Okay, so uh, no, that's right. Uh, yeah, no, it's just so that is nine points of uh, slashing damage for you, Tarsius. They are not the strongest of the Abshies. Are we? Okay. Um. So, I rolled a 16 and a 17. So, unfortunately, they do not hit. Oh, that sucks. That blows a lot. Okay. Well, that Sorry. Was it, that, I took the minus five on both of those attacks to see if I could potentially do more damage, and it did okay. pan out. It is what it Anything is. Anything else? Uh, no, no. Uh... I already used it. I, everything else I need a short rest to get back. So no, I'm good. That's it. Okay. Alright. Alright, it is Gren's turn. Sure. Yeah, I guess. Thank you, I guess. Like, he doesn't have the stat, but I fully believe that Gren should be allowed to have Fury of the Small, because Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, completely. 18? Damage, you say? 18, 16. My god. Uh, is there anything else attached to that? Bye 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 god, these poor Abishai. I'll say, as this is going on in the background, you watch as this green dragon is like whipping around to like strike Care with his tail, but Care catches it in one arm, and you watch as he's like, it's it's full on kaiju fight at the moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, patience. It is now your turn. You see Uncle Care is locked in battle with this dragon. Cole's like, this might be our chance to get away. <laughs> she's just like, no, I agree, and she's just gonna, um... 
pretty much uh, attack the dreadnought with uh, don't touch. And she said, "No, you." Uh, Twenty-three. To, no, excuse me. Patience, yeah, like yeah, if you. Twenty-three hits. Roll ahead. me your wild magic. Fifteen. Okay. Roll me your damage. Okay, he is. Forgot to do this a minute ago, but he is hanging on by a thread. As this spectral skeletal hand shoots out, kind of like grabbing onto his face and then dissipating, you see that there's like parts of the skin that's like sagging and corroded from rot. Anything else? Probably soon, yeah. Hawk still can't take reactions. No. No, no, unfortunately you cannot. Alright, so it is the dragon, as the dragon is currently locked in a fight with care. Yeah, as it is clawing, it is trying to bite. It is it is a full on like it's it looks like Almost, kind of funnily enough, it almost looks like Care is wrestling with just an oversized dog. <laughs> Which I think he has had much practice, especially with the West and Wild Shapes, so. I was about to say, like, don't a dog. Wow! You know what? Whatever happens next in this game, that's on you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna do anything. But the dice are going to decide, because you said that. It's one thing I've learned, is that these fictitious deities and demons do fucking listen. <laughs> yes. Learn from Hawk's mistakes. <laughs> no, I know. What I'm saying is, I'm not going to do anything about that, because that was out of character. But how you roll is going to... That's on you. The universe likes to make jokes. Next. Okay. Hawk, it's your turn, buddy. We're going to need you to roll your d10. Do good. Do you got good. this. I believe in you. Thing. Another nine. Okay, so you can you can act normally. Congratulations. Uh, I'd, I'd like to succeed on a wisdom save. <laughs> Fight the ADHD brain fog. You got this. He is not listening to patients. Um, we, we have, we have, yep, yep, I'm gonna watch here, right there. and we're gonna wail on that Abishai. Alright, give him a big old wail. We got our tree, tree attacks. Oh God, your D6s. Where did I put my things? Yeah, don't forget your D6s. Ow. Okay, um... And I get an extra D8 of damage for one of them. So let me put that in front of myself as well. Okay. So. I'm going to take out their nice, fancy, fancy sword. And. That is a. What is the plus? Um, I'm bad at math. 23 to hit. 23 hits. Hey, oh, I didn't mean to push that, but alright. A 20 to hit. That'll hit for sure. And I guess a 26 will hit. So. Yeah. So, 3d8. I only have... I, oh, I unpacked dice this week. Oh. So, 3d8. <laughs> Um, 18 plus the sixes, so, plus another D8, 
So that Abishai is going to take 38 points of damage. A lot of damage. And you get 3d6 from the from, uh, oh, and from the necrotic. The oh, that's right. Yeah, the oh. Since you hit with all three, you get 3d6. And that's another 10 for the necrotic. All right. Homeboy is looking... Raggedy? A little... Yeah, a little raggedy. Like he's in, uh... He's, he's hitting the second quarter of his life. <laughs> <laughs> Um, wait. Yes. I am waiting. <laughs> I'm hold on. Okay, no, it's I'm holding. Added. What am I holding? I was reading for the sword, and it said I got a plus two bonus to things. I'm like, for what? <laughs> plus Never mind. Two. I already added. Okay. Yeah. I was like, what you mean? I got it excited. cut like butter. I'm, all right. Um. Uh. What is the... We can't do that, can we? Oh, I'm thinking... Oh, no, I can't. Nah, we're not going to do that. Okay. And then, so he only moved... I don't remember how far. He moved from here. He did like here. a 20-foot strafe. 20 foot? Okay, so he's going to... Scooch. Hold squeak. on. Squeak. I have to, like, squeak. There's no squeaking. This man's huge. <laughs> uh, he's just going to step aside and be like... The leather of his pants. You die. In the minute, somebody's gonna kill you. It might not be me. Somebody is going to kill you. All right. <laughs> oh yeah, and I have to make my safe. Yes, make your safe. What did I do with my D twenty? Oh, it's right here. <sighs> Brain fog is happening in IRL. Buddy, that was a natural twenty. <laughs> Good job. Please. You did it. I'm proud Please. of you. You finally Please. broke. This. You have broken the curse. The poor confused boy is no longer confused. It's almost like a breath of fresh air hits your mind and just the fog fades. Like we, we're, we've been getting those brief moments of clarity to attack things. Cool. All right. That is it. Like, looking at the, the Abishai is like, I have not dealt you death, but someone will be with you in a moment. Oh. And in a moment. Maybe it's your turn. Cool. She's going to fly 10 feet up. Okay. Then, so that she doesn't get attacked by these two Abishai. Got it. Fly over here. All right. And then she's going to look at Karen and go, hey, hot pants. Hot pants. Have fun. And she's going to cast enlarge on him. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's how that works. All right. So that, that, that does what? To make some the next size up? It makes him the same size as the dragon, basically. All right, we are. It's Damn. like we're wrestling with our dog, uh, trying to give him a pill. Moose, go lay down. He heard no dog. One's with you. No one's wrestling with you. No. He did. No. No. Oh, poor thing. All right. <laughs> Anything else, Maria? As a bonus action, could she cast healing word or no? I believe healing word's a bonus action. Yeah. Okay. Actually, she's she can Baldur's do Gate says mass this. healing word as a bonus action, so she's going to do that. Ooh. That Ooh. that is definitely a bonus action. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. So who's getting that healing word? That would be Cordelia, Tarsius. Uh, care and patience. I think I can do more. There's six people. Uh, fucking, I guess, Hawk and Cole as well. All right, everybody. <laughs> Basically, it's six people, so. 
Beautiful. Works and just great. you got 12 HP back. What's the healing word? Uh... Fuck, what is her healing word? Um... <laughs> Keep up. All right. With a keep up, everyone gets a boost of HP. All right. That everything? Yeah. That's bonus action and action. So. All righty. I should probably put that she is 10 feet up. How much was it again? Sorry. 12. 12. That's a lot. Thank you. You know, Cole, for being a cleric, you don't have a lot of buffering spells. Just have to say it, I'm sorry. What, guiding bolts out of buffer spell? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, is it? <laughs> if they're dead, it's buffed. I put the wings on her to show that she's flying. That works, that's perks. Yeah, she's ten feet up. Okay. Since I can't figure out how to put a 10 next to her. <laughs> the most you have is guidance. Healing. He's also, you know, a nerd. So he does stuff that helps with nerd shit. Leave me alone. Uh, no. I won't. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna give it a good, healthy, uh... Yeah, I... Oh. Well, he's about to move up. Yeah. As he runs up to you, patient, takes you by the hand, just like, time to go. Not realizing he's in range of an Abishai, but you know what? That's on him. And he's going to give a point to the dragon, and we are going to do a nice, healthy toll the dead. And naturally, the dragon saves. <laughs> it was going to succeed on it anyway. <laughs> Oopsies! But hey, you burned another one. Isn't that great? Hooray. Alright, so since we have successfully gone a couple rounds without being disturbed, <laughs> the door clicks open and Maloon rushes all the kids in first and Maloon is going to try to bolt inside but that is going to trigger a opportunity attack from the Abishai so we are going to roll for that that is going to hit very hard Could, can you give it to me that's not how the game works but still added. what can you give it to me can... that's not how the game works at all but no, but I am DM, so I, I... You know what? I'll roll it like this. Tarsius. Yeah. Make me a... Let's make... Let's let's do a... Uh, let's do a grapple check. Oh, okay. I will treat it as you reacting by trying to choke hold with your axe. Okay. And if you succeed, the attack will not hit. It's a dirty 20. D not the best roll I've done this this whole game. I'm going to tell you that the base strength of this Abishai is a 12 on a good day, so oh. that succeeds, so okay. the attack will not land. Ooh. So good job, buddy. Yay. Yeah, That's Maloon, and the kids will escape inside as Maloon kind of like throws a look over their shoulder real quick and just, thank you, and the door closes. All right. Next, it's the Abishai's turn. I'm right here. So, you are right there. Hey. Let me let me roll to see if it breaks the grapple. If it doesn't, it's in trouble. And you rolled a what on your grapple? A uh, twenty. It was a dirty twenty for the last one. Yeah. A dirty twenty. He rolled a sixteen. <laughs> So you're holding it, and then all of a sudden it starts wriggling. You're like, oh, oh, fuck, shit. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> and so next, let me go for the one that is attacking Cordelia. 
as he is going to do. These guys are more... Why can't you do anything right? I'm just going to assume a, a 14 does not hit. No. All right, let me roll for the next attack. Like, roll for claws. I'm going to assume that a 12 doesn't hit. No. Thank you for checking. <laughs> I have to say. Of course. <laughs> okay. All right. Now let's go for Cole. The 12 might hit. <laughs> the 12 might hit. Well, no, he's wearing adamantine, and that is a... Oh, for once he's actually wearing armor. Bro. He always wears that. Uh, yeah, that's the 17 AC. It rolled a 23. But that's its first attack, so now we got to go for the other one. I forgot. Yeah, both attacks are going to land. So, Hawk, as you kind of like skirt past this Abishai that you just wailed on, it kind of shrinks back. But then it sees a smaller target. <laughs> and his back is turned. Oh, God. As patience, you're going to see as this Abishai is going to raise its sword and swing at your father. Oh. And it is going to hit. And it's going to look very not nice. That's first attack. That is a whole... <laughs> three damage. <laughs> These... They're not strong. <laughs> they are not strong. Clutch, like, really? <laughs> like, that... That's it? No. So, now for the next one. As... It is going to be a claw attack. It's a little bit more. So that is going to be 12 points of piercing damage. And he needs to make me a constitution saving throw real quick. That's your best stat, right, Cole? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is, you need a DC of you rolled an 18, so that's good, which means you were not poisoned, but you will take half of the poison damage. So we'll do that real quick. That's such easy money. That is a five. All right, so that definitely uh, took a chip off of your very large HP. As a very high-level cleric, you, you poor thing. I don't know what you're going to do without any of that. What are you going to do without eight points <laughs> of health? God forbid. He's almost bloodied. Almost. <laughs> All right, that's the Abishai, Cordelia. What are we doing? Okay, I'm um, attacking, I guess, the big boy first. All right, hit the big boy. Yeah, Don't forget your d6s. I'll do one attack right now. That is a 24. 24 will hit. What's the least amount of damage you can do on this on one hit? Um. So if there's one, two, three... Four. If it's more than six, you're good. Five. <laughs> if it's more than six HP. Uh, my 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 dex is six. Is plus six. So, yeah. How do you want to do this? <laughs> plus all the dice. <laughs> <laughs> I will save you the roll. How do you want to do this? Uh, I will look it right in the eye and tell this 
this guy was like, I told you to run. <laughs> yes. As this rapier and just I'll... goes straight up through his jaw into his brain. And then I will swipe to this guy because you don't attack the baby. You, you're right next to the baby. How dare you <laughs> be next to How the baby? You? You're next to the baby. All right. So roll for um, attack. That is uh, 20 f something. That that hits. <laughs> that does hit. Congratulations. What's your damage? Uh, okay. Don't forget the D6. And the D4. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay. Blah. All right. He is also reaching the second half of his life. So. Anything else? Uh, yeah, your D6. Yeah, I did. No, that should be it. Okay. Oh, um, well, here is I'll I'll do this bonus action. Care Go is for it. fighting, I guess, right in front of the dragon, trying to yes. distract it and fight it. He's given him at the moment. an unholy weapon. Yeah. I will I will look at Care and say, give him hell. Uh, rally. I am giving Care 10 points of uh, what's that called? Temp HP. 10 temp HP. Awesome. That's my end of healing. <laughs> All right. Temp HP is healing spell. <laughs> yeah. That will end my turn. Alrighty. As you give him that rally, and there's just like he looks like he's like bolstered uh, from uh, from your rally, and the green dragon looks like he's about to like snake his head in to like snap at Care, and Care grabs him under the jugular, and it's just like. Hell's going to be a vacation when I'm done with him. We've been there. And you watch as he's just <laughs> like he is locked hard with this dragon, like clocking him one after the other. It's it's messy. Poor dragon. Well, uh, the poor dragon. We're not going to spare the details. <laughs> no. I mean, <laughs> we don't we don't condone animal abuse on this stream. So yeah. just want to say that right now. Yeah. All right, these guys are dead, so we don't need to talk about them. <laughs> Arceus, what are we doing? <coughs> well, uh, gonna not use Great Weapon Master, because that's been fucking me over hard, so just two regular attacks. All right. Okay. 27, 26. Those will hit. Okay. Hi, can you please not hurt my friends because he just, like, decks into them? Please don't be a jerk, please. Do you have any idea how rude you're being right now? So, <laughs> so incredibly rude. Okay, uh, so that's, uh, 15, uh, uh, 20, 25, 31 points of slashing damage with both attacks. Alrighty, that is a good, healthy number. Wow. He's getting there. That is me. All right, that is you. All right, it is Gren's turn. Hey, Gren is going to continue. Shy. Um, he's going to at least try to uh, do something a little bit uh, more uh, ri risky. Uh, he's actually going to like you know do that thing that cats do when they like squat down, get ready to jump, and we're going to try to go up with the jugular. Oh, he can jump now. Uh oh. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> Weed dingwall. <laughs> oh, he did it! 
I love that Gren has been effectively wrecking this basically demigod. He is having the time of his little life. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's the damage on this one? Ten. So I feel like he grabs it and probably goes this way and then. Alright. That's, that's that's a chunk of damage for that guy. Alright. Patience. Oh, okay. But she is going to help her and she's going to chill touch the, the guy. Alright, she'll touch the guy. Yeah? Um, what level are we casting this as? Oh, wait, it's a, it's a, it's a cantrip. Hello. Double the, Double the dice, yes, that is correct. 68. Yes. It's not to say, I'm like, if you somehow take him to the end of his life... I will be so impressed. 30, okay. He's, he's he's almost there. Anything else? No, that's, we're, that's all we're gonna do. We're Did you roll your wild magic? Potted plant. Nope. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, she, I will say she is willing to go and like, fall her Alright, so, Patience, uh, taking Cole's hand, uh, ready to make the run for it. The dragon is occupied, I'm just going to say it like that. <laughs> So unless you guys engage the dragon, the dragon is going to be in a full-scale, like, cutscene kaiju fight with care. <laughs> like, oh wow, he's still holding oh. your new friend, just like, you believe that? Oh, that's pretty good. Sit here and take a yeah, short rest, like, wow, that's impressive. That's like some Oscar-worthy special effects right there. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, talk. what are we doing? I literally thought you said something else. I said, Hawk, what I, yeah. are we doing? Honestly. I didn't hear Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> what did you hear? Hawk. I that vitamin C. <laughs> Adam and Day. <laughs> Sorry. Nicodemus, what are we doing? Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Wrap up next to next to. Okay, we're shoulder to shoulder. We're up and elbows. Since apparently I can't occupy that one square. If you're not careful, you're gonna get shoulder checked. <laughs> Fine. Cause we 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 gonna hit now. Okay, we're go ahead and hit. We're close enough, aren't we? Are we close enough to hit? Sure. Okay. So he's going to take the, the fancy sword. We'll take your fancy attack. sword. <laughs> Stop dying. I'm choking on popcorn. Um, there you go. Right. So that's a 29 to hit. Okay. 25 that hits. to hit. That hits. And a natural 20 for a 31 to hit. Um Hold on. Okay, so hold on. Let me let me Okay, words, things, junk stuff. Okay. Right. So, so, so D8s. All right, so you're rolling damage. But while that's going on, Miria, what are you gonna do? Uh, Miria's just gonna kind of look around and be like, "Well, it looks like most things are cleared up." Uh, and she's gonna just fly her way over here and take one strike at each of the Abishai. Okay. All right, roll me your attacks. Twenty-six for the first attack, and All right, twenty-three that's for the second attack. That is also a hit. And Hawk, what'd you get on damage? 
Uh, so, so the initial damage is 19. All right. But he needs to make a con save. All right, let me roll that con save. Just fancy sword. And what is your DC? 15. Rolled 26. <laughs> Boo. Okay, so he'll just take the, the double. So that's... I'm bad at math. Old. Okay. Maria, what's your damage? 13 to one, 12 to another. All right. Uh, okay, so the critical would be another 15 points of damage. Alrighty. And then, do we have any bonus? So you said 19 points? plus 15. Yes. That is a number. It is. Yes, it is. I got it. Okay. I'm like, if I stare at this paper for long enough, I might be able to figure it out. 34. Yeah, I got it. Yes. Thank you. Oh, that means... Well, bam. Oh, goody. Mm. Alright. Anything else, Hawk? Uh... Mm. No. No, he's good. Okay. Alright, anything else, Maria? All right, so Cole uh, is going to try to lead you as far away as possible, patience. So we're going, yes, I know you're there, the cat. So he is making a run for it this way. He's going to take you with him. Abishai are going to go for their attacks, I believe. Let me break the one from his grapple with Tarsius. That is a 12. Mwah. Piss on the cheek. <laughs> Tarsius says, you're my friend now. <laughs> you have to be All right, cold. let me roll. Attacks for <clears throat> these guys. All right, so these two, uh, two, both of them are attacking Maria since she was the last one to attack. So first one is uh, 21 to hit. Yeah. Okay. Next one is going to be 24 to hit. Yeah. Okay. Next one is going to be also a 24 to hit. And the last yeah. one I'm going to assume is a miss because it is a 10. Yeah. Okay. All right, let me roll a lot of the eights. You oh, jeez. Impressive, because you're so small. Right. I'm also ten feet up. Oh yeah. Oh shit! Hold on. Yeah, she's flying. You're right. Silly of me. They also fluff. Oh, that's fair. What that means, <laughs> they leave an area mm -hmm. that is Cordelia, so Cordelia can a op them. Gren, Gren's isn't oh, it? That's the other one. No, both of them. Yeah. Well, yeah, he can uh, attack the other one. Okay, so I need Gren. I need Cordelia to roll me a ops. That Fuck is. Up. Keat him. Keat him. 22 to hit. 24. Okay, and that's going to be 18 points of uh, slashing damage for you, uh, uh, Miria. All right, what was the AOPS? Uh, 22 to hit. 22, 20. Yep, yeah, those hit. So All right. You are putting this dude through the ringer, I swear. 
Clearly. All right, uh, Cordelia, what is your damage? Oh, I completely math wrong. Uh oh. I was putting t time multiply instead of plus. <laughs> I was like, why is this like? <laughs> get the d6 too. Yeah, don't forget your d6. Twenty-three. Twenty-three, okay. Alright, we are struggling to hang on. Alright, Cordelia, so it is your turn. So missing... And we are coming up on time, so... This one I wish I is in the air. I can't reach it. Yeah, so they are now okay. ten feet up. Okay. This one is still on the ground. They're, they're both up in the air. Oh, they're both up in the air. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's only one target left for me to to go to. I'm sure my brother can handle that. Yeah, we're, we're becoming good. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do I really want to be in the middle of these kaiju fights? <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of big feet stomping around, Cordelia. Yeah. I'm gonna go 30 feet over here, and right. I am um, bonus action that to move right here. <laughs> okay, you do that, <laughs> and then I'm attacking twice. Poke it in the side. Just poke it in the foot. Right, right. between the toes. I am, I am the ankle oh. biter now. <laughs> On this scale, yes. Hmm. Have uh, one is 19 to hit. 19 to hit? That, hit that, that just hits? Because dragon. That just hits? Okay. The other one is 25. That also hits. Okay, I have Go ahead and give me your damage. The two D8s, the two, the two Cow Thunder. And, and the then I one. will ask uh, Tarsius, what are you, you wanting want to do? Specific you want specific damages separate? So, uh, uh, are any of your okay? Are any of your damages poison related? No. Then you can give it to me all at once. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask this okay. this nice nice Abishai if they're gonna behave, um, and then they should learn a lesson, uh, and then squeeze them really hard. And if they struggle, then I'll knock them out. Uh, but if they are not, then I'll let them go and tell them they need to turn themselves into the authorities. Do you know Draconic Tarsius? I know Minotaur. Moo. <laughs> <laughs> so, you ask him nicely like, if he is going to behave. And when they don't respond correctly, it's like, okay. And he's just hit, like, he he makes noises much like what Gren makes noises. Oh. Should learn it's that like language. this awful shrieking noise. Uh, You're not sure if that's a yes or a no. Okay, well. Uh, but he does look pretty angry. Okay, well, I'm going to put you to sleep. You can go night night and just headlock non-lethal damage, put them to sleep. All right, roll me a strength. Okay. And I will roll a constitution for him. Uh, if it's just strength, that's a 21. <laughs> well, you rolled a natural 3. Oh, that's promising. <laughs> so it's 6 total on the con save. Night -night. So it might be night-night time. <laughs> <laughs> put a little sleepy face there. He is now, as you gently put him on the ground, he's asleep. <laughs> asleep. <laughs> Alright, Cordelia, what is your damage? Damage was 43. 43? Like, why was I worried that you guys were gonna like need to kill this dragon on the next game because 
You gave us care. I did. Yeah. You gave me a green dragon. I did. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Speaking of, I need to roll his his attacks. Uh, now that you guys uh, are engaged. I am going to action surge. Alright, action surge. Go ahead as I roll this. Yeah. I did pre-roll. Pre it was a... Uh, to hit was a uh, 28 and a uh, 21. Those both hit, yes. <laughs> Because I have lots of dice to roll. And All right. it was a 50. A 50. <laughs> Wait. No. Minus. No, no, no. no, no. I, I added gosh. my sneak. I added my sneak attack again. And that's not correct. Okay. So I'm, removing, is... I'm removing 11 out of it. So 39. Bro. Why? <laughs> Care. My guy. My guy. What did he do? He rolled a natural one on his damage. That's what he did. That sounds about right. <laughs> he did that a lot. He's so, he's so big, and he looks like he hits hard, and then it's like, dink. Yeah, that was always my problem with him, is he rolled good for attacks, really shit on damage. Poor guy. I feel that. All right, so what is what is your uh, damage, Cordelia? 39. 39. That's for the action surge attack. Good lord. Okay. That's it? Yeah. Alright, so Tarsus, you just put your guy to sleep. Good. Gren. So I will have... Uh, Gren, you can go ahead and do your attack. So you are currently attached to this Abishai. That, that hits. That... So, so, what's your damage? And that's with your necrotic? Alright, what did you have to add necrotic to that or no? Okay. This is hilarious. Um, I'm gonna need you to make a dexterity saving throw, Gren. Because the body you're attached to is now falling out of the air. Then I'm gonna need. Base 14, I need to see what his dex is. 15? Yeah, that, yeah, we'll say you land. I just disintegrated in there. Basically, yeah, so he's okay. falling. And he la makes it on all, lands on all four feet. Patience, is there anything you're doing besides running with your father? <laughs> Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm gonna start rolling dragon attacks. Hawk, what are we doing? We hit. You hit. Okay. What are you hitting? The dragon. Okay. The you roll attacks. me your attacks. Okay, so I'm going to say since it's time, what are the odds of you rolling at least 20 points of damage? Uh, hold on. Um, one of those misses. Okay. Uh, Fair 25. Enough. Okay, 25 20, hits. And a 24 to hit. And 24. Okay, what was the other one? Uh, the other one I rolled was a four. So yeah, only okay. a 14. Okay. Uh, so, be... so, roll me your text. Cool. Mm, plus uh, 22 points of damage. So, how do you want to do this? <laughs> nice. Uh, we're going to get in our feels for a second and just. As you're watching as this dragon rears up, you see his claws glinting in the uh, red light of the eclipse, and poison is starting to burble in its throat again. What do we do? Uh, 
What is your finishing blow? He would reach up and grab it by the throat. Um, and just sit there and be like, never again. And he'd just drive that sword right up into his throat. Okay. And then just, like, shove it away from him so that if there's any spill, it, like, it, it falls, like, he shoves it back this way. Even though he knows that it won't hurt Cordelia if there is poison. Still won't want it to get all over Cordelia. All right. So, shoving your sword up as it pierces through the dragon, and you feel the dragon's body shudder and slump as it dies, and you toss it backwards as its body crashes into the street, and poison spews out in a trail behind it. The dragon is now dead. Much of his comrades are also dead. One Abishai, according to Tarsius, is just sleeping right now. Yeah. <laughs> And at the numbers that this other one is looking, I'm going to say, Miri, if you make your hits, he will also be dead. If you would like to roll your uh, your attacks to see which hits and what doesn't. 19 and 11. Okay, 19 and 11. Did you have a third hit or no? No, she's only got uh, one. All right. So I will say after your... Nine damage. That's fine. That's fine. Because what will happen is after the final, as you slash through it and the dragon falls, you see the Abishai's eyes go wide and it lets out a shriek and it starts to fly away into the, into the air. As it is fully absconding from the battle. That's fair. Right. So with that since it is pretty much time we'll end it here yeah. you've defeated a dragon congrats you've done it and One. you still need to make it to west's tavern as the battle kind of stills and you hear like the wings fading in the distance of the uh, fleeing abishai in the distance, you can hear one very angry barbarian screaming obscenities into the sky as there is a fight taking place a few blocks over and you were so much closer to your uncle's tavern. Okay. Cool. Fun shit. Yeah. Yep, fun shit. So, we will pick this up again in two weeks and make it to West Tavern and see what is going on. See how he's handling things. I think he, I think he's, I think he's doing fine. He's doing all right. This isn't his first eclipse. Yeah. <laughs> so with that, thanks for those who watched. Thanks for playing, and we will see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.